Time now for the chump line. I love it when CNN eats crowbar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, CNN, uh, they, they had this uh, guy who's now been arrested for taking part in the Capitol riots. They identified him as a documentary uh, filmmaker and a, and a left-wing activist. And they brought him on with a, uh, a, a CNN, NPR, NB, NBC News producer. And they, they, were, they were giddy and ecstatic after they breached the Capitol. And uh, now the brother of the, uh, uh, of the documentary filmmaker, John Sullivan, his brother, is on a uh, Utah TV station saying that uh, he was his brother John. He's a good boy, a very good boy. John's already been a, he's already uh, been charged in uh, Utah with criminal mischief in an earlier riot in the summer when someone was shot. Now his brother says that he was organizing an, an Antifa brigade or platoon. No, it's more than a platoon because there's he says there's 226 people in Antifa that got into the Capitol. This is the brother saying this. I'm not spreading debunked conspiracy theories. Don't take me off YouTube. Don't take me off Twitter. Go ahead. Love it. Considering we can impeach President Trump after he leaves office, I wonder if we can expel Genghis Khan from Deerfield. Though, considering the paltry reputation on that safety school, we'd probably be doing him a favor. Go ahead, live shot. Make my day. Make my day. 617 says, if Harvard's doing this, would that mean taking Schiff's degree away since he spread all that Russian disinformation? That is an excellent point. That is that is really a, a good observation. How about how about Juliet Kayyem? She's employed by Harvard, and she said that uh, that uh, Trump was the what the spiritual and or operational leader of domestic terrorism. Is that really true, Juliet? Do you do you really belong on the campus of our most august institution? The Chump Line is brought to you by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer. And we're old enough to remember a time when social media accounts like Twitter and Facebook were available to all users and allowed open conversations. A time when you could also choose Parler or Gab as your platform. How quickly times have changed. Hey, how are you? you going to watch the inauguration or are you going to skip that one host dog and pony show? <laughs> I'm skipping it. How many people watched Joe Dementia Joe's speech last night, by the way? The greatest speech of all time. Better than the Sermon on the Mount. Better than the Lincoln, uh, the Gettysburg Address. That was the, uh, that was the unanimous opinion of the lapdog media. Well, yeah, Lincoln never gave away $1,200 to everybody. 14, pal. 14. 14. I'm so sorry. I want to start the Impeach Me Too movement. (laughs) Yeah. It says in the Constitution, impeachment shall be used to remove someone. How do you remove someone who's not there? I don't know. They can remove Joe Biden, can't they? He's not there. He's not all there. There's a big difference. You know what I you know the difference between being not there and not all there. The Biden administration has announced the operation woke speed in which the vaccine will be administered in alphabetical order of gender identity. <laughs> Somebody said today that they're going to rename operation warp speed operation you know the thing Incidentally, the the mainstream media was also going uh, crazy last night because the FBI, which didn't didn't act on so many tips that they've gotten, including about the Boston Marathon bombers, the Parkland uh, shooter, et cetera, et cetera. Now they're saying they've got chatter that there's going to be problems at the inauguration. Chat. Do you trust the FBI? The Department of Homeland Security said today they have quote no specific credible threats. I think I'm going with the Department of Homeland Security on this one. Hey, Howie, I know who the secretary for the U.S. Department of Truth will be. Adam Schiff. (laughs) 
Yeah. Adam Schiff, you know, talk about a guy who spread more disinformation than just about anybody else in the United States of America. Forget Congress. I mean, you could put him up against anybody out of the 330 million citizens for BS, lies, misinformation, disinformation, leaking classified information, apparently. And he, if anything, he's up for an honorary degree at Harvard this year. Not being banned like Ted Cruz or Dan Crenshaw or uh, Kaylee McEnany. We can't impeach Biden because he's already impaired. <laughs> what did they say about that uh, that that uh, killer? What, what was the what was the phrase they used? Intellectually, um, intellectual disability. Does Joe Biden have an intellectual disability? You can take my Twitter. You can take my Facebook. But you can't take my freedom. Freedom. The Freedom Caucus in the House of Representatives. Go ahead. Hi, Howie. Governor Patrick calling. Wow, I hear you're celebrating a birthday on Sunday. Considering you'll be 77 years old, the candles will cost more than the cake. <laughs> We're going to be fine. I didn't come here to be made sport of, Governor. You know, and I may be getting older, but I'm not getting shorter. Or at least I'm not getting as short as you are. Thus your name, Small Duval. Are all of Charlie Parker's friends hidden behind door number three? <laughs> yes, Donna, Donna White is going to uh, open the door. Right after she she uh, spins the wheel of fortune, what a buffoon he is! I'm so glad Grace worked the line about the turkeys into her column on uh, Spectator Local USA. Local hospitals, healthcare practices, community health centers, university health centers, or visiting nurse programs. Or number three, <clears throat> sort of like Donna White. Is that the who's the one that does the? Yeah, it's Donna White, Governor. You're the smartest guy in the room. Yeah, she opens we need the, to have this. Go ahead. We need to have this impeachment trial quick before we find out what really happened. <laughs> yes, that's what Nancy Pelosi says uh, about uh, any kind of uh, legislation that she wants. To. It took her nine months to get people to six hundred dollar checks, but it took her seven days to impeach Donald Trump again for nothing with uh, no real, real impact. Except that, well, 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 we impeached him twice, you know. We impeached him twice. Give us more money. Howie, Charlie Baker calling. I agree with Iona Presley. Folks who don't wear masks are conducting chemical warfare. Remember that guy in the military sector of Iraq named Chemical Ali? Well, because of your bare habits, we should call you Chemical Howie. Listen. You know, you can say what you want, but you don't have me confronting a reporter and uh, pointing my finger at the reporter and yelling at her with no mask on, do you? Unlike Rachel Rollins. Rachel Rollins will be the first person tried under her friend uh, Ayanna Presley's crackdown on maskless public. Incidentally, uh, in Brisbane, Australia, they're having uh, some, uh, some civil unrest. You know why? People have finally started objecting to the rules that require you to wear a mask while you're driving in a car by yourself. That was the bridge too far for the down under crowd. That was your last chump line message. Thank you for calling Howie Carr, you chump. All right. That's it for the chump line today. The chump line is the recorded voicemail message service. You can call any hour between one and four every weekday and leave your message on the chump line to get to the chump line dial 844-500-4242 press two for the chump line leave your message we may or may not play it at this time each weekday or we might play it on chopped chumps that's our podcast that we post every evening around seven o'clock you may hear some you'll hear you will hear messages you didn't hear on the show this afternoon at Chop Chumps. Get Chop Chumps wherever you get your Howie Car Show podcast. The Chump Line, 
is brought to you by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer. And we're old enough to remember a time when social media accounts like Twitter and Facebook were available to all users and allowed open conversations. A time when you could also choose Parler or Gab as your platform. How quickly times have changed. The Biden administration has announced Operation Woke Speed, in which the vaccine will be administered in alphabetical order of gender identity. 617 says Memorial Hall is safe. No Confederate dead. I thought there were Confederate dead listed for the Harvard grads. However, I'm sure all of the names are of white males, so maybe not so safe. Yeah, you have to celebrate diversity everywhere, even when even when you're talking about the past where there was no diversity, you must still celebrate it. So, yeah, Memorial Hall is going to have to something's going to have to be done in our woke culture. I'm Howie Carr. He's suave, he's debonair, he's he's Howie Carr.